Now, let's speak about the true Israelites. Let's speak about the true land of Israel. Once again, family, of course, you know, this is the Tiger's Nest, and you're listening to Radio Tiger. Of course, the website is priestisaacinstitute.com. Now, how many of you have the book, The True Biblical Land of Israel? Now, when we highlight the whole aspect of Amos chapter 9, verse 7, it clearly shows you, are ye not unto me, as the children of the Ethiopians, O ye children of Israel? Clarity there. And of course, in the book of Genesis, it already showed you that the land of Israel, you know, the land given to Abraham, the land given to his descendants, was from the river Euphrates until the river in Egypt. Now, of course, the river in Egypt is the River Nile. I think everyone knows that. So that means that the landmass in between these boundaries, the river in Egypt and the river Euphrates, that's the land given to Abraham and his descendants, who would be who? The children of Israel. But well, listen to this. The expansion in the book of Joshua chapter 1, hmm, from the river Euphrates to the Great Sea, which is the Atlantic Ocean. Now, you know that the Great Sea is not the Mediterranean Sea. Of course, you know, religion would want you to believe that the Great Sea is the Mediterranean Sea. But we would have already showed you in the book of Ezekiel that the Great Sea was to the west of the land of Israel. And Ezekiel shows us that the Great Sea was also to the south of the land of Israel. Now, the Mediterranean Sea is not to the south of the land of modern day so called Israel, which is Palestine. The point is, it is disqualified. I'm talking about modern day Israel. The true land of Israel, according to the biblical description, is the land of Africa plus Arabia. The Great Sea is the Atlantic Ocean. Hmm. Somebody disagrees? You haven't read the book the true biblical land of Israel. All clarity is there. I mean, in 2 Chronicles chapter 33, 2 Chronicles chapter 33, mm -hmm, it clearly shows you that the city of David, there was a wall built without or around the city of David. And this was described as being on the west side of the Gion, on the west of the Gion. Now, of course, in the book of Genesis chapter 2, the Gion is also mentioned, and the Gion is considered to be a river, the river specifically that encompasses the land of Ethiopia. How interesting it is, you know. So there are so many aspects that are within the scripture that clearly shows that the land of Africa plus Arabia is the true biblical land of Israel. And again, this is fully highlighted in our book, The True Biblical Land of Israel. And one could visit the website priestisaacinstitute.com to order the book and to get more information even on the subject area. 